Dearly beloved, we have gathered here today, friends and family, to celebrate the wedding of Angela and Nigel. If any person can show just cause why these two should not be joined in marriage, you should have said something a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, let's take a moment to acknowledge Angela, Angela and Nigel's loved ones who cannot be here with us today, but are with us in heart, mind, and spirit. Although they're not with us here physically, they're part of the foundation of who Angela and Nigel are. Also, to Angela and Nigel's parents, <laughs> They've learned many things from you. Your love, nurture, and support is essential to who they are today. Thank you for being the first examples of possibilities and power to them. Everyone is here today because you love Angela and Nigel. Each of you have played a part in their love story, and it's been an amazing journey to watch their love grow. From when they first met, to when their beloved puppy Cora came into their lives. <laughs> <laughs> to where we are today, standing in front of all of y'all. But for those of you who don't know the origins of their love story, I want to take you back. <laughs> back to 2015, to a time when the Supreme Court affirmed that love is love, and there was a global debate on whether a dress was blue and black or white. <laughs> In that fateful year, Angela and Nigel were destined to meet at the Renaissance Festival. <laughs> Red Fest is where they first started to get to know each other. That day, Nigel was on cloud nine. And through the clouds, I mean, a week later, <laughs> Angela texted him a title of a song called I'm Making Plans for Nigel, and they made plans for a first date. So little did they know, fate had plans for them. And so, their love blossomed. They began dating, traveling together, and spending time at the pub. <laughs> Soon Cora came into their lives, and Cora began spending time at the pub. 
When I asked them what they liked about each other, Nigel said he loves the way Angela smiles. He loves the way she giggles and the way and how she supports him in everything that he does. Angela loves how Nigel always checks in on her to make sure that she's okay and that he's never wavered in his kindness and love for her. You know, uh, I asked Nigel when he knew Angela was a key for her. He said, a few months into dating, they went on a trip to New Orleans together. And after a night about town, around 2.45 a.m., <laughs> Nigel cajoled her into going to this burger joint off Bourbon Street called Crystal. <laughs> Health conscious Angela was disgusted. <laughs> Reluctantly agreed. <laughs> Nigel presented her with a Crystal's burger, and Angela said, yes. I will eat this trash burger for you. <laughs> I asked Angela about some of her favorite moments with Nigel, and she told me kind of tenderly about when he first said he loved her. A few months into dating, they'd been out with friends and talked late into the evening, and Nigel was talking about how great her and her friends were. And then to Angela's surprise, he said, I love you. And in the still of the night, Angela said, I love you too. You know, it's been really great to get to know these two over the years. Like some of you, I've been really fortunate when Nigel, about three years ago to the day almost, got many of Angela's friends together and took her to one of her favorite spots, Miller Outdoor Theater, complete with champagne and oysters. Uh -huh. And there, Nigel got down on one knee and presented her with a ring. With the world watching, Angela said excitedly, and a little bit tearfully, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> and then she said this. <laughs> Angela and Nigel, a marriage is a journey, journey made up of many steps. Sometimes side by side, sometimes one following the other, but always together. Today is another step amongst many steps you've taken. Yet it is an important step as you journey across the landscape of life. This step will cause you to walk with greater understanding and to journey with deeper purpose and commitment and love. Although there may be good times and bad, your love will remain the same. The fact of the matter is, things change. Your circumstances in life may change. You may be sick. You may be healthy. You may be richer. You may be poor, but hopefully richer. But <laughs> <laughs> your love will remain the same. There will be struggles. For example, you may have to move your wedding date due to a global pandemic. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> but your love will remain the same. Your outward appearances will certainly change. And Jill, I I hate to break it to you, but Nigel will not always be this young, handsome lad. <laughs> <laughs> Things will change, but your love will remain the same. I'm here. We're all here because of your love. We're here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, and to remind you that love isn't happily ever after, but love is a journey about writing your story. It's not one moment. It's not even this moment. It's the big moments, the little moments, and everything in between. May you rediscover your love daily as you journey across this adventure called marriage, one step at a time. In the spirit of love and life, Angela and Nigel have asked Bernie Movie, Bernie Mooney, <laughs> Blessings. Blessing by Bernie Moody. <laughs> hour be fulfilled through the days and years to come. May the love of this man and this woman, their unity of spirit, grow deeper and stronger in the uncertainties and changes of life they will share. Loving each other, may they love all persons. Trusting each other, may they learn to trust life. May their love reach out to the love of all, that their lives may bless all whose lives they touch. May they find comfort together in shared hours of shadow, as well as in the bright sunshine of joy. May they be to each other both strong and gentle. May all who follow their lives with interest and affection have cause to rejoice, not alone in their happiness, but in their brave and generous 
living, which makes life beautiful and significant. Thank you, Mr. Mooney, for the reading. <laughs> and Jillian and Nigel, you've come together to give yourselves one to the other as husband and wife. The promises that you're about to take here today are a culmination of all the commitments you've made to each other, big and small. Each and every person here is a witness to these promises and vows. Have you prepared your vows? Yes. <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, uh, as we stand here in front of all our friends and family, uh, you know, the third time lucky I think we're, we're doing this now. <laughs> it's not often I say, or everyone in this audience would say that I'm speechless, but you look so beautiful. <laughs> and, you know, I promise that I will honour and love and respect you, and understand and listen to you, even when there's those times that you're mad at me because of a dream. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I promised you I wouldn't make jokes during our class. <laughs> I also promise to support you to be your best self and allow you to push me to do the same. I will always love you. <laughs> Nigel, you are my rock and my guide in love and the person I want to grow old with. Today, I vow that together we will walk through any hardship, darkness, and pain to reach our joys, hopes, and dreams. And to always, to always do that with honesty and trust. I promise to be giving and forgiving, to make you laugh and to laugh at myself. Thank you for caring for me, understanding my quirks and idiosyncrasies, and for being someone I am I proud to be marrying. I cherish all the memories we have together, and I can't wait to make many, many more. The ring is a symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Love, like a circle, has no beginning, it has no end. It has no giver, and it has no receiver, because each is a giver, and each is a receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows that you've taken here today. May we have the rings? Can you have the bride's ring to the other side? Thank you. Take this ring and Angela's left hand and repeat after me. <laughs> I, Nigel. I, Nigel. Give you Angela. Give you Angela. This ring, this ring, as a symbol of my eternal love, as a symbol of my eternal love, and commitment to you, and commitment to you. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed. Can we get the groom's ring, Angela? <laughs> repeat after me. I, Angela. I, Angela. Give you Nigel. Give you Nigel. This ring, this ring, is a symbol of my eternal love. As a symbol of my eternal love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Having witnessed your vows for marriage with all who are present here today and by the power vested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you, husband and wife, you may kiss your groom.